Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Hello, this is John Frenet, and it is Thursday, September 28th. Yesterday afternoon, there were a few tense moments as an administrator at Annapolis High School noticed that a 16-year-old sophomore was getting on the bus and felt that he may be in possession of a gun. The school resource officer was called, Anne Arundel County Police were called, and ultimately they recovered a loaded 22 caliber handgun from the rear seat of the bus where the student was sitting. The student was arrested, and he is from Annapolis. It looks like AM radio station WNAV in Annapolis has been sold. Not the radio station, but the property. We had learned about a month ago that Bozuto had purchased the property from the Sajak Broadcasting Corporation. Yesterday afternoon, Ward 2 Alderman Fred Payone voiced his opinion on the sale in a Facebook post saying that he will oppose the development. The property in question is slated to be developed into 45 to 50 townhomes on approximately 7 to 8 acres. And from what we understand, Bazzuto has been talking with residents of Admiral Heights to create an access from Cedar Park Drive as opposed to Admiral Drive. Presumably, this is so the entrance to the community would not be opposite a Section 8 housing complex. There appears to be a problem with swine flu in Maryland. Five Marylanders who had close contact with pigs at the Anne Arundel County Fair and the Great Frederick Fair have contacted a form of swine flu, the Capitol reports. Maryland health officials declined to say whether the residents were from Anne Arundel County or whether they had just visited. Nearly 100 pigs remain in quarantine in Frederick, and three farms are under quarantine up there as the health department tries to figure this all out. And speaking of the flu, for the second time, Anne Arundel County and the city of Annapolis are partnering together to offer a free drive through flu clinic. It'll happen this Saturday from 10 to 2 at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. You want to enter in off of the Taylor Avenue entrance, which will be gate number six. Really simple. You pull your car up, you roll your window down, a nurse gives you a swab and a stab. They are offered to anybody who is six months of age or older, and they are on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you are looking for a free flu shot, Get there earlier rather than later. Gets underway 10 a.m. on Saturday at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. We're going to follow this lawsuit. A former student from Glen Burnie High School is suing Anne Arundel County school system, saying that they failed to protect him against an attack in the school bathroom that left him severely injured. The Capitol newspaper reports that it was fi- the suit was filed in circuit court by Nathan Frank, who is now 22, and he claims because of the beating he was unable to attend school, later dropped out of high school, and moved to Florida. Stems from a November 2013 incident where he was attacked in the bathroom. Despite several notes and letters from doctors requesting a transfer of schools, the Anne Arundel County Public Schools refused that request, and ultimately he was injured in an attack in November of 2013. This will be an interesting case to follow. He is seeking at least $400,000 in damages from the school board. A woman on a Southwest flight trying to leave BWI had to be forcibly removed by law enforcement, causing an uproar on social media. The woman, who is seriously allergic to dogs, was told there would be two dogs on the flight and she needed to get off the plane because she did not have the proper medical documentation. Instead, she tried to have the dogs removed, at which point she was removed by the airline forcibly. And yet again, there is another disturbing video on social media of a passenger being forcibly removed from a plane. The backlash of the take a knee issue is hitting home with the Ravens. Joey Odoms, the Ravens national anthem singer, announced his resignation on social media. He said he felt obligated to step away after he saw how many NFL fans reacted negatively to the protest during the anthem this weekend. And also former Ravens linebacker Ray Lewis appeared to backpedal on his kneeling during the anthem Sunday, making comments on 105.7 The Fan, saying that he was praying, not protesting. Lewis said, quote, I'm not in the protesting business. I'm not into this whatever Trump want to say. I'm not going into that mess, unquote. He was shown on TV during the game, kneeling and locking arms with current players on the sideline. This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. 
Hey everyone, this is George from DMV Weather. Let's get right into the Thursday forecast. Today's forecast theme is out with the old and in with the new as a big and long-awaited weather change occurs across Annapolis and all of Anne Arundel County throughout the course of today in which cooler, drier, and much less humid air from Canada replaces a very muggy summer-like air mass that brought 80s and 90s to the area every day except one since the 14th of this month. For today specifically, we posted a target high temp last night on our website of 78 degrees for both Annapolis and BWI Airport as the reality of the situation outside includes a cold front gradually moving through the area today from west to east, bringing progressively cooler air into the mix over the next 12 to 24 hours while acting as a catalyst for some moderate winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour or greater later this morning and through the p.m. hours. And this new air mass will really show itself overnight tonight as temps will be much cooler than last night, ultimately dropping down into the 50s across all of Anne Arundel County. Once we get into Friday, we'll begin an extended period of fall-like weather all the way through the weekend and into at least early next week, with temps in the upper 60s and lower 70s during the day and lows each night in the 45 to 55 degree range with very little, if any, appreciable chance of rain of any kind. So continue to make plans to get out and about in Annapolis or maybe even D.C. or Baltimore or the Maryland Eastern Shore this weekend as the weather outside will be just about as ideal as it gets comfort-wise. And if you haven't noticed already, there are about 100 times the normal amount of acorns falling from trees across the region thus far, which means in weather folklore land, that the winter ahead will be cold and snowy. So enjoy the peace and quiet out there while we have it. Okay, that's it for us today. Be sure to download our free app by searching for DC MD VA Weather in your app store. And also be sure to follow us 24-7, 365 on our website at dmvweather.com or on social media via Twitter or Facebook. And also be sure to visit our homepage and sign up to be entered in a drawing for a $500 Amazon gift card. But you have to sign up by September 30th to be eligible, and that's Saturday. So get to it today. This is George Young of DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast. Whatever the weather out there, have fun and be safe. The Eye on Annapolis Daily is possible in part because of the generous support of Ram's Head on stage. Ram's Head, where every seat is less than 48 feet from the stage, brings more than 400 concerts a year to the area. To wet your whistle, check out some of these upcoming shows. This Friday, it's local favorites, Pressing Strings. Saturday brings the fantastic Steely Dan tribute band, Technicolor Motorhome, to on stage. And this will be a particularly great show with the recent passing of Walter Becker. Fastball and Starbelly on October 3rd. Crack the Sky on October 6th and 7th. The Laughs and Drafts comedy series continues with Quinn Dale on October 8th. And, for you old folks out there, a throwback on October 14th for two shows, Peter Noon and Herman's Hermits. Tickets are still available, and you can get yours at ramsheadonstage.com, or if you want to go old school, head on down to their box office. Ramshead is located in the heart of beautiful downtown Annapolis at 33 West Street. For a guaranteed great night out on the town, ramsheadonstage.com. You pick her out, makes a bloke feel so proud. If you're looking for local sports... It's right here, right now, on the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Hey guys, Kevin Chaney here with your Eye on Sports. Let's jump right into varsity field hockey. South River was at Chesapeake. Chesapeake won 2-0. North County was at Meade. North County won 1-0. Severna Park at Annapolis. Severna Park won 4-0. Glen Burnie at Old Mill. Old Mill won 13-0. And Southern at Northeast. Southern won 3-1. Jump over to boys' varsity soccer. Annapolis was at Severna Park. Severna Park won 6-0. Meade at Arundel. Meade won 2-1. Broadneck at Southern. Broadneck won 2-0. Northeast at Glen Burnie. Northeast won 1-0. Over to girls' varsity soccer. Annapolis was at Severna Park. Severna Park won 6-1. Northeast at Glen Burnie. Northeast won 4-0. Broadneck at Southern. Broadneck won 2-0. Meade at Arundel. Arundel won 3-0. Chesapeake at South River, South River won 1-0. Hopping on over to Girls Varsity Volleyball, Southern was at Broadneck, Broadneck won 3-0. Northeast at Glen Burnie, Glen Burnie won 3-1. North County at Old Mill, Old Mill won 3-0. And South River at Huntington, Huntington won 3-1. Once again, I'm Kevin Chaney. This has been your Eye on Sports. Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. 
And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at noon. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.